Welcome everyone to Mr. 3D. So in this video we are gonna take a look at Grab It. It's an awesome add-on to help animators grab objects. The folks at Zen Graphics has designed it to facilitate the grabbing objects in Blender. If you guys also wanna follow along with this tutorial, you can follow the link in the description which will bring you right here and you can read more about this add-on in the documentation. So without any further ado, let's jump into Blender and see how this add-on actually works. Once you purchase the add-on, go over to Edit Preferences and install the add-on that you have downloaded from Blender Market. Once you install it, just search for it and make sure to check this box to enable this add-on and save preferences then close your preferences. This add-on also comes with two example files so open the first example file and we are gonna see exactly how this add-on is a lifesaver for animators. So here if you scrub through your timeline and here you will see all the written text which is its documentation. Press N on your keyboard and go over to grab panel right here and you will see grab it. This add-on has three functions right here and two more functions in the drop down menu. These three buttons are really really powerful. Now scrub through the timeline and when you want your character to pick the object you wanted to pick just select the armature of the character or a rig and then go over to pose mode right here and then select the bone to which you want it to parent with so it can hold that cup. In my case I have this bone not these finger bones but the hand bone. Select it then go out of pose mode and then click on grab while your armature is selected. It's gonna make that hand bone as a grab target and then select the object you want it to grab and then click on parent. Now it's done scrub through your timeline now and you can see it's parented now. Whenever you want it to drop the object that you have grabbed just simply click on drop. It's gonna drop it. Right here you have to do the same thing as well. The hand bone itself is already selected in the pose mode so all we have to do is to click on grab while we have selected armature. And then click on the object to which you want to parent it with and then click on parent. Now the object is parented with the bone that you have selected in the pose mode and if you scrub through your timeline you can see that it's moving wherever the hand is going. So once you reach the point where you want to drop, you can simply click on drop. And as you can see, it does not matter what is selected. Okay. So you can select this one and still click on drop and it will drop. So I'm going to click on drop and here you go. It's super easy as you can see right here. Now I'm going to open second example file and show you something else. So right here, you can see that here is a Mixamo character and this character carries a basket in his hand. If you follow the instructions, this will also walk you through how to use this add-on. Okay, so we have our objects in space. The character grabs it and then places it in the basket. And then the basket grabs the object and then it stays in the basket. This is what we are going to do. Go over to the point where the character grabs the object and then click on armature and then go to pose mode. And let me just zoom in a bit. Select the hand bone. This will grab the object and then tab out of pose mode to object mode. Press N on your keyboard and then go to grab it panel and then click on grab. After that, select your object. In my case, I have apple and then click on parent. Now it's parented with the character's hand. What you can do now is click and drag through your timeline. Go to the point where it should place it in the basket right here. Click on drop. Now once you drop it, go right here where it fell down in the basket and then select your basket and click on grab then the object you want the basket to grab then click on parent scrub through your timeline and you can see that it's parented if you want to pick another object and then place it in the basket first you have to drop the object in the basket and to do that you have to go to the end of your animation and then click on drop because we can do only one object at a time. So drop at the end of the timeline where your animation ends. If you drop it before that frame, it will stay in the basket until that frame. This is amazing. Go right back and do the same process. Now I'm gonna fast forward till I place both of these in the basket. So there you go, I have completed this animation, grabbing and placing the object in the basket and I'm totally gonna use this add-on for my next animations that I'm going to do in future. That's it for this video, let me know what you guys think about Grab It in the comment section below. And also you can check some of my previous videos and of course if you like this video or you found it useful you can give it a thumbs up and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads. Thanks for watching, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.